Hi, Caleb and Steve here with Brownells. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about the must-have tools for every gun enthusiast. Right, and we're not talking necessarily about a hardcore gun person. Um, if you own a gun of any kind, you really should have a few tools on hand if you wanna maintain that thing yourself. So let's take a look at what we got here, some pretty simple stuff. Um, yep. Tell you what, if you've never seen one of these before, it's a bench block. And what this does, its main function is to keep your pistol or your rifle from contacting your wife's dining room table. It keeps you from marking up the surface. This is a nylon block, so it won't hurt the finish on your gun. You can pound on the gun, you can beat the gun against it, it won't hurt it. But it's got nice little holes to drive pins through if you need to disassemble your gun. It's just a handy thing to have, it's just a giant hockey puck with some holes drilled and some uh, machine grooves, that's all it is. Yeah, and of course, next up is going to be a decent screwdriver set. This is a complete set here. Um, you can get one of the starter sets that don't have quite as many bits for a, a bit less money, uh, depending on what you're gonna be working on, um, how many different guns you have, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, these, if you wanna be changing grips, um, right. changing sights, depending on what firearm it is, this is a must have. Also, uh, for changing batteries and kid toys. Yeah, and, um, yeah. The light switch plates, these are great for that this, as well. This particular set is a little bit overkill for a, a one gun owner, but... Uh, it is, um, but it, it, it gives you a general idea, um, of, of, especially of how many different bit sizes and things like that are out there. This is almost just scratching the surface because they expand from here as well. Exactly. Yep, so definitely a must have as far as a screwdriver kit goes. Good cleaning rod. Uh, for cleaning your, your gun, obviously, but also it serves as a knockout rod at the range. If you think you have an obstruction or something in there, you should always have one of these at the range with you when you're shooting. Uh, if you're shooting pistols, obviously you want a shorter one, but uh, this lets you know that the bore is clear. Make sure you don't have any uh, uh-ohs or kabooms. Um, and it should be part of your cleaning kit. So it's not an extra piece of equipment, it's just a piece of equipment you need it anyway. Yep, exactly. And for a lot of the same reasons you would need a screwdriver kit, also Allen wrenches or hex wrenches. Um, an inch and metric one, depending on what, what type of firearm right. you have. A lot of times you can get it away with just the standard, um, but there are a lot some firearms out there, especially a lot of European firearms, um, where the metric will be required. True, so. true. But a lot of more uh, of the hex head type fasteners are being used either in optics Mm -hmm. or um, trigger guard screws. Yep. Like trigger. a lot of Remingtons come with those now. That's right. Just standard equipment. So at least get the yellow set, the English set, and if you have a, a gun made across the water or something, you might want to look at the red set as well. Uh, moving right along. Actually, this is a pair. We have a nice set of punches and a hammer. So the punches are for taking pins out of your gun, obviously. The hammer, got many uses. You want to enumerate a few? Yeah, so almost every firearm has some sort of pin in it. Right. And right. the only way to drive those pins out is with a hammer and a punch. Um, some firearms use just standard push pins. Like for example, if you're working on a Glock, you do not need a hammer to remove any of those pins. You can just no. take the punch and press them out. So the punch, punches can also be used without the hammer for pins like that. Um, also, uh, the Smith & Wesson, if you know anything about those, getting the side plate off the frame, um, a good nylon hammer is required for that, or the wooden end of the hammer as well. And there are times when you need to uh, use a hammer on your uh, gun. Uh, something might be frozen, locked up, it just needs a little tap to free it up. You can use this nylon head here. It won't mar the surface or anything, won't damage any metal. Uh, you know, be careful on wood, don't hit the wood with it. but. Just handy to have. Sometimes just a little bit of force is all that's needed to make something work again. Yep, and if you have a workbench to work on, um, a, similar to this one here, a vise. Um, a good vise will save you from having to grow a third hand because a lot of times it, it's almost like you need you know, an, an additional hand and the vise is gonna do just that. If it keeps you from dropping the gun just once, it's paid for itself. Yes, and although it may not be necessary for everyone, uh, it's definitely something I'd highly recommend because I use it quite often personally. It beats working in your lap. That it does, absolutely. And then in addition to all of this, um, one thing you're also gonna wanna have, not necessarily a tool, uh, more of personal protective equipment. Just goes with course, the tools. 
iPro, yeah. especially when you're using the hammer and punch. Um, Lots of springs in those guns. They fly oh, yeah. everywhere, even when they're not supposed to. So usually wear glasses when I'm working on them just to be on the safe side. Yep, absolutely, same here. Now this won't be the same for everybody because different guns have different tools they need. If you're shooting a lot of 1911s, obviously you'd want a bushing wrench in your toolkit. If you're shooting a Glock, you should have a Glock tool for easy takedown. Um, the list can go on and on, it's never ending. Yeah, and if you have any tools you would like to add or a tool that you prefer, uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below, let us know what it is. And of course, as always, if you have any questions on any of these tools or of course any other tools we sell, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.